We're on the storm watch this morning. Frigid and icy weather now blanketing much of the country, leaving at least 17 people dead in five different states. But the worst of it is in Texas. This morning, morning millions of Texas residents remain without power. And the crisis is far from over. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron reports. In hard hit Texas, life is appended. This line of people stood outside a San Marcos grocery store as it tried to reopen amid widespread power outages. We're just trying to get something to eat for now. In Houston, the owner of Mattress Mac turned his store into a shelter. The least we can do is open this furniture, let people uh, come into a uh, warmer place. Uh, soap is plenty available, TV's plenty available, matches plenty available, and lots of hot food. This deadly winter storm has left millions of Texans without power or heat as the state's electric grid buckled under demand. We spent the night pretty much in the cold, which is something I've never done. With a two-year-old, it was dreadful. We all just got in one bed and covered up. And many people have been without electricity on and off for more than 48 hours in what power officials are still calling a series of rolling blackouts. I think about who's responsible. We had enough preparation time that we could have been able to prepare for this correctly. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is blaming ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. They're the ones who operate the grid. Abbott called for a full investigation into the nonprofit corporation. It appears that a lot of the generation that's gone offline today, either tripped or had to come offline, has been primarily due to issues on the natural gas system. In Oklahoma, power isn't the issue, it's water main breaks, more than 20 overnight. The water now turning to ice, leaving this car stuck. The weather problems also led to canceled vaccine appointments and delays in vaccine production. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News. And gas is running low at many gas stations in Texas as people are sitting in their cars trying to stay warm.